I heard it never translated. Chink, chink, like that. Onto the stuff. They're destroying my stuff with pulses. I heard a click then. But it ain't just me, I think they're doing it on the grid as well, destroying everyone's stuff. That way people have got to slowly upgrade, innit? To the new tech with the 5G stuff and everything, innit? See how they're phasing things out like that. <coughs> they destroy your stuff so you have to go and buy new. Just by not giving you clean electric and destroy you in the process. See then? Like... Like that, you know, pulses. I think that's how they're making my battery go flat. Because uh, that was alright in the winter. That that in the battery's destroyed. I've had to run a generator just to get my fridge in like nearly freezer. And then uh, I ain't touching my batteries up there today. And I'm separating the 12 volt and the 240 volt system. So I've got things I've got to do again. It's like I'm going backwards. They're holding me back. I know they are. And I've just got a lot of things like that charging up. See, even this, look. That. Without me realising, things get messed up. Where it should be simple. You know? That's alright. I need to make uh, water. A uh, wind turbine. There's plastic up there. I've got bolts. Um, that'd be a really good energy backup. I thought of a system that would be really good. But I was got to draw it. I'd better draw that down, actually. So I don't forget. I think a good idea is. Talk about resilience. Wind, water. Um, solar. And then later on I'll do thermal. But I want to do the the weight like an 80 kilo weight up high that you lift you lift it without resistance because of the the click you know like a click click you know well like a one-way cog so you can lift it up without resistance wind it up like pulley up high and then you'd have maximum current coming from the generator motor like so that'd be a magnetic motor and you'd want it, the weights would barely do it on maximum current load. So you'd be able to lift up like your body weight. Or you could use a pulley system. And that fall I reckon would charge your batteries in itself for a day. Because of the current you get in the draw on the fall. That you don't have that resistance on the up. That's where current works for you. Because it makes it harder for it to fall. So the harder the current to fall, the more amperage and the, and the more benefits you get from the fall of the motor. But you need to do it big, like 80, about 80 kilos, unless you had a pulley. You could double that. You know? That'd be really good, because it wouldn't matter if it's windy. It wouldn't matter if it's... Uh, no wind, no rain, no water, no nothing, no sun, it don't matter, does it? Because you got uh, at least you could go out and lift the weight. And that would go straight to an alternator, and alternators do not break. Especially if you've got magnets in it. They will not go wrong, because you don't need brushes then. There's nothing that could go wrong with that alternator then. Apart from diodes, but that won't go wrong. And then that could go straight to the battery system. For a charge controller, we well, don't even need the charge controller because of that's already built into that basically, and that would be such a resilient system. But I, I want to do Bitcoin mining, 
there's like little spots that I could just make a little unit, you know, a metal unit or a shed thing, and make it so that mine Bitcoin. I'd love to do it on a water mill, a water mill and wind, wind and water together. So that would be a crypto miner that, that just used water and wind. And uh, obviously it mine will not work. If it don't work, you have a backup system. Not backup, but I mean, you have like a slow shutdown system and when it monitor voltage in a, a battery load, you could even add a weight to that system because the water mill on a geared system would lift the weight bloody easy, wouldn't it? Because of the cogs. And it ain't got to lift it up high. And that system would have built-in, like, resilience in itself. For mining crypto. And then you... I don't know how you do your own node. I've also heard of solo mine. You can mine an, a whole block. And you get, like, free Bitcoin for a block. And there's only so many blocks left. Imagine mining a block. But I want to do it not with loads of money pumped into it. I just want to do it cheap. But I'd still want my own thing. I won't mind mining a few bits of Bitcoin. And plus I've got ideas for miners. They could even make it illegal. Say then they tried to make it illegal. There's waves and sea, like international waters. And that's not about the speed of the internet connection. That's about the number crunching of the graphics, graphics card, like CUDA and that. Things like that. So the bit mining, plus that would be water cooled in the sea because of the sea itself. No money for cooling to cool it all down. Do you know what I mean? And then waves, the power in waves, man. A cubic centimeter of air, water is a ton. So that cubic cubic meter of of uh, water displacement is a ton lift of air. How many barrels would it take, like a snake, to make a, a platform that would mine crypto? And then people build them. I hope people do build them. I've made a website, but I mess about with things. And uh, they didn't. I think they took my website down. They kicked me off webs.com. No, not webs.com. They didn't. What was I on? Vistaprint kicked me off Vistaprint to somewhere else that I didn't know. And then they even kicked my web address to somewhere else you see how they kicked me off there just for trying to show that stuff like the bitcoin and in the sea crypto mining you imagine wind turbines even though i don't agree with wind turbines out at sea i don't really agree with generators out at sea but i also thought of another way you could have compression so that's done on shore so basically that would be a hydraulic system so you're not even generating any um, electromagnetic stuff on the waves because you could have it on the shore. So the shore would have like a hydraulic hose come in and then that hydraulic hose on the shore would run the generator rather than on... And people say, well, why would you do that? Why do you just do it on the thing? That's like something that people have to experience to understand why I would do that. Just like how the wind turbine shouldn't be out at sea because the magnetic fields of them and that's gone to the water and that's not healthy, you know. So you got to have respect for wildlife like that and there's no need, especially with the technology they know about. They're just doing wind turbines to try and make energy more, more expensive. That's different if you got a little wind turbine on your roof, you know. Nothing wrong with that. These big, these big ones, you do not need them. They're not there for any reason. All this upgrade on this system was not needed because we used to have like 80 watt light bulbs and then we've gone down to like 5 watt LEDs. And so if I could run 80 watt light bulbs and I used to have like 3 in each, each one of these... A E A E A E. What's that running? In a in a lounge, you have two lights, so that's like six bulbs. So X six eighty watt bulbs got um, switched out to five watt LED bulbs after it went the f uh, fluorescent ones. So why upgrade a grid, a grid double the grid? And that's about the target and weapon system. That's the only reason that all that grid has been upgraded. 
is to make the weapons system for the 15 minute cities and for the people like me that they don't like they just target and then the people around you like I can't see nothing I can't feel nothing and you're crazy do you know what I mean but you show them and they still don't see it <sighs> but they're making things not work they're trying to make maximum pressure because that's how they can do it them satellites up there they can mess with things you know Especially electronics and that. Everything's weaponized. <sighs> it's bloody hot out there, it's lovely. See, thermal now would be perfect. I could make thermal energy on this roof to turn it into, into aircon. So I could have black panels on this roof, but inside would be cold. There's other ways that prove things like that. Even these in themselves, if you laid a roof for these, for one side to get hot, you get like a imagine an egg box there, electrons go through, brrr, find it hard, they create electric. On the other side is cold. So if you know how to layer these on any roof, any of them on a roof, when the sun beat down you'd obviously paint this side black, or the opposite, and then this side would become cold. So you cancel out the heat just through these. But there's other ways thermal can do it. Because you put hot air down onto this, heat, black, you know, on the... On the imagine that red is now black hose pipe, or something like that, or glass, vacuum tubes, whatever you want to do. That heat get transferred for a heat exchanger where it go for a vacuum, where that vacuum then have cold steam because water boil at any temperature depending on vacuum i've even bought vacuum pump and all that so i can make this stuff but obviously i ain't got bits and i can't do everything so then that would create the vacuum steam then you could run like a tesla turbine or you put it in a compression under in the vacuum steam and then the expansion like aerosol coming out of a can cool so you'd have coolant but the coolant I'd use wouldn't be as efficient as the coolant they use because I'd rather use ammonia. And I always green ammonia because ammonia is just your piss. And it ain't got to harm the environment, is it? Or go into the atmosphere because it's ammonia. You know? Plus, hard, ammonia is actually a fool because they turn ammonia back into fuel from hydrogen. So you think you're pissing, you're pissing fuel out. Never really think about that. So if you saved your piss, you could probably run your car on it. People don't think about that. But they even pull fuels out of the atmosphere because there's so much in the atmosphere. They can actually do that through heat exchanges and uh, other things like uh, make jet fuels and all that just from the atmosphere. There's so much that could be done that we just don't bother doing it. But we could do it on a small scale where you do not need a smart meter because you're self-sufficient. Or a, or a community is self-sufficient. And then they got n nothing on anyone because there won't be no smart meters. All they care about is them smart meters. That's their weapon of choice. I'll tell you why. Because they got really high processing chips in them. Which cost a lot and there's only so many. And uh, so they got to use people for the data harvesting and everything. But that's all just done out of evil intent. So people think of things, they, they take that idea. And before you could even do anything and act on it, they've already got it. And then an algorithm will create it in real time. So you could then go online, do a web search to let me go and see what my idea is and who's done it. Like, say, the wave crypto miner out at sea. Then I'd put crypto miner out at sea. You think that augmented reality then can show you a web page with a crypto miner out at sea like, oh, it's already been done a year ago. And you think, oh, bastard. It's already been done. Oh, what a shame. It's only last year. Oh. But was it? Or did they harvest your thoughts through your phone and steal your idea and take it for themselves? The rich get richer, the poor get poorer by design. 
just one more nail in the coffin to being a full slave. Do you know what I mean? Because I, I think that's what they do. That is what they do. And that's, that's evil in itself. Because that is keeping people down. And then they kick people while they're down. You know? Crazy.